Nya hello, I finally built a sword sword deck. Nya hello, also you finally joined me the sheeps. I named it sword soul plus any plus longing plus mecha phantom plus virtual world deck. Nani, wait a minute. You have more tummy than soul soul. Oops, I can fix this. Tenny plus soul soul, plus landing plus mecha phantom plus virtual world deck. Oh! For we roll savage dragon? Yeah. BFD? Yeah. How is this going to work? Let's go over some temple. Do Dual start. With no effect monster on field. Special summon the non tuna tenny monster. Then using one tenny monster link. Summon Monk of Tenny. Since he is not an effect monster, that means we can use Vessel for the Dragon Cycle to send the Worm to Graveyard and such for Tenny. Well, since we have all three copies in hand, this is just too big dash. Then continue the Tenny special summons. Going to help with the Brats. We will then special summon this Tabot from hand. Oh my god! Continuing on to second draw. I am determined to show you the full combo. Going to fast forward the same initial combo. Here is better of sending this here and searching at her. Small mistake. When I was still adjusting the deck, summon this cobot from deck with health effect. Using two machine type monsters. Link summon mecha phantom beast Aldran. Trigger is summon effect and special summon three tokens. Trigger desk pop put revive effect when two or more machine type monsters are special summon. Trigger or drone effect tribute itself and the token. Special summon make a phantom beast or lion from deck. And then, oh my god. Next game. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Not stopping until I can film a complete combo. Note that with this start, we haven't even used up our normal summon yet. With so so of time in hand, backup plan if things goes out. Here is the same combo you should be familiar by now. Using old lion as tuner and the token. Synchro summon Dendron, first of the young team, trigger his special summon effect and add the young thing card to hand. Chain all lions sent to graveyard effect and special summon a token. Trigger Dendron effect and send virtual world order hand 2 to, to graveyard. Change his level to 6. Adding another level 3. Synchro summon, ravenous brokerage and all of these. Trigger Dendron leave field effect to special summon young thing from deck. Chain Crocodile effect to draw a card. Adding another level 1. Turn a synchro summon, Barney Deep Blur. Trigger to the graveyard effect, discarding the wand, and special summon her as tuner, adding a level 3 monster to synchro summon, cloud castle, trigger castle effect, and special summon a level 9 monster from graveyard. Oh my god! Try again! Whoever this opponent is, I have faith in you. Please let me finish my combo. How keep turbo charge? Me 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 me. Chain max C for two free draws because this special summon effect and token generate effect do not happen at the same time. Trigger longer and special summon effect is starting a warm generate the tuner token and it's Barney time. With two more negates on field, going to stop opponent draw two cards. Oh look at Zeldrick, called by the grave to deny his destroy effect and prevent revive from graveyard. On to the next try. Even though Striker rely on cosplaying multiple times in a turn, this max C isn't necessary since opponent can't attack town 1 and break and chain and cosplay Shizuki and pass. Using this year graveyard effect, we really control a non-effect monster to bounce opponent set card in case of any engage. While we repeating the combo in the background, this deck is strong in the sense that when you have full combo out it is almost impossible for opponent to come back. Even they put out couple negates. Since we run so many engines, it is very likely we can still make a decent negate vault and pass. Finally we are back to where we left off last time and when we have two levels 9 on board, it is VFD time. Oh my god. Anyway, 
Anyways, let's talk about cons. This steak has same weakness as regular soul soul to me. Hand traps like Ash, Maxine Umbrella, and Nibu are very strong against it. Also reason why I run double cross out Ash and Cold Boy. By the way, healthy double charge is pretty common now, which is very big negate target. The good thing about this setup are healthy can trigger his quick effect in opponent's sound, which is less often seen. Use it to summon Dendron, which by itself has high defense. Then also lets us draw a card. Then special summon one left field. If you have Young Zing Tuner in graveyard, it will revive itself when a Young Zing is destroyed. If you are wondering why almost all footages are going first, it is because I am trying to record for the become ball of this deck. To show you what you can do with it, which is very hard to do going second, as with that soul soul deck, going second is also quite weaker. Oh gosh, I am running out of things to talk about. Here is a slightly different path, since we already have Barney out. Another level 10 single is Jane. His effects allow you to banish one from opponent graveyard and one from field. When a card is banished, people sometimes forget even without other monster banish support, like Chick Seal's banish and gain effect. When Jane would be destroyed, he can banish a card instead. And when that happens, he can trigger banish opponent. Totally not speaking from experience at the receiving end. I have not more games where people just instantly surrender. It would be too much and too boring to show all of them. I have a theory as why people instant surrender. Since I am in Diamond 1 and there is nothing to lose for surrendering, people just go with the easy way to save few seconds or minutes. The loser reward isn't that significant, especially with bad mana player when they have lethal and continue their minutes long combo. Also note that people who made it this far generally have good idea of whether they can deal with their opponent board by analyzing their current hand. Less player interactions is less fun, but unfortunately that's the modern Yu-Gi-Oh! You win by denying your opponent from playing the game. The more denies you have and the less interaction your deck creates, the more hater it generates. This is why Fratgate, Mueller and Rumble, the FDR generally hate it. That's going first has statistically higher win rate. You set up a board with as many negates as you can and pass the turn to opponent. By the way, trying the combo deck has negative consequence that I cannot do some of my dailies since opponent just surrenders. We are finally getting close to where we left off again. I summoned Chick Seal here to search for Longhorn. If you already have him in hand, you could go into Boral Savage Dragon for three more negates. Note that I tried it is not possible to have BFD chain Chick Seal, Barney and Bow World on board at the same time because I should a special summon any effect locks you out to only raw monsters and it require a token to trigger as I don't have monster space left to put two sets of tunnels and monsters for synchro and here is what a full board looks like. I made the mistake here to not hold trigger to on for BFD effect. Since now it is common for people to run Lava Golem and KD because abundant of souls so on DPE. Oh my, it's a new one. I checked opponent's deck after. It is exact same version I posted few days ago. Minus couple extra UR cards. If you are watching this video, thank you for letting me finish my combo. Note that opponent should have Lava of BFD first because now he cannot trigger any monster effect nor declare attack. Small tip. Play the mom on a pole to reset her attack to zero, and she will permanently stay at zero. Thank you for watching.